You go first. No, uh, you taste it first. I ain't tasting it first. Maybe there's something else to go with it. Hey, Birdie, is this all we're having for Biddles tonight? I ain't sure. I don't think I saw something looky back in there. Now, Birdie, you know I can't eat nothing that looks bad to me. Not that eight times. Nope, I don't want to taste anything that tastes bad. <laughs> what was you expecting, boys? Eggs Benedict? Well, no, but I ain't never seen you that color. <laughs> what is it anyway? Why, well, Clyde, you're so simple. I ain't for the time. It's, um, it's, um, it's awesome, I think. Of course, it's been that while when I found it, so I could be wrong. Maybe go for it. I ain't for sure. <laughs> Are you sure it's safe to eat? How should I know? It's all like fine. All right, all right. Don't get your feathers ruffled. Feathers ruffled. I'll show you ruffled feathers. You big old naked people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Barry. Now, Clara, not me to offend you. It's just that we're men and men like me. And the thought of buying to this, whatever it is, is scared the Billy Blue Blaze out of us. I can't help it. You're just so sweet and kind You ain't brought enough home for me to cook in a month Sunday. I want food. Food. Food that ain't so scary and don't smell so bad. Well, Bertie, what do you want us to do about it? I mean, you make some money and buy some bread. So goodness knows you can't hunt with Diddley. You know, everyone has an almost little challenge, Bertie. Oh, yeah? What's yours? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Me too. That's it, Cleveland Clive. You can't go on like this anyway. We're just going to have to pack our people, head back to Virginia, and move in with Aunt Pearl. Aunt Pearl? I'd rather be poisoned. Aunt Pearl is bossing in the school of Mary Middle Schoolhouse, and she makes us take a bath every day. With soap. She make us go to school and work on our gazentas. Gazentas? Yeah, I know. Do you go to the six um two times? Yeah, probably right. <laughs> I know she was great to go eat to Oaks to find out what's his name. Can't go as one of these married professional men, the lawman, or a doctor. Or even one of them rodeo comes and settle down studying, running off and take care of my two worthless brothers. Why did I do this? Oh, come on, Bertie. Don't cry. We'll come up with some money. They don't call us clever Clyde and Cletus for nothing. Who calls you that? I never heard anyone call you Club Clyde Cletus. Well, we do sometimes while talking to each other. Ampharo <laughs> <laughs> was... I said you boys were dumber than a bag of rocks. I had it. Dumber than a bag of rocks? We will show her. Yeah, we'll show her really good. Wait, okay, man, come here too.
again. <laughs>
sheriff's office. Anybody who's ever been an old out town looking for us, leave us to go to the shop and whatever you want. He's picking that pose. Looky over there, that there's a sheriff's chair. You know, I've always wanted to sit in the sheriff's chair. Remember, remember when he was little and we used to play deputies and robbers? He always wanted to be the robber. Yeah, I sure did love being the deputy. Look at me, Cletus. <laughs> I'm the longest out, so you just do my bit. My turn? My turn. Oh. I thought we could stop going late. We packed everyone else. Let's go check the sheriff's office. Oh, brother, someone's coming by. Whoa. I'm sure glad there ain't no one around, but I wouldn't want anyone to see me in this getup. Wow, it's downright silly. Them fellas would laugh pretty hard if they saw me dressed up like this. Uh, Clyde, who was that girl talking to? She might be tighter than a fruitcake. Cause <laughs> tight. I'm sneezing with you. Of course it wasn't me. Why would I say you would talk to myself? <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't you. Then who? Uh-oh. Well, I guess the sheriff ain't here. I guess I just better go. All right, girlies, just do what I say and nobody will get hurt. <laughs> Why, you look down no good. Uh-uh-uh, now, pretty girl, like you shouldn't all talk like that. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Stealing folks hard-earned money and special stuff like my aunt's ring. We're real sorry about your aunt's ring, but we had to. You won't believe how bad it's gone for us. You snakes! There ain't never no good reason to steal folk stuff. What a great idea, Calamity. You think the snakes will just introducing the friends? Are you nuts? What are you talking about? Remember, my two squirts aren't the only thing I've got in this little bag of tricks in mine. That's great! What's great? Uh, the weather. That's wet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. But we ain't got time to chat about the weather if you can see. We're going to finish cleaning off this town. That's good, Dad. Leaving you a little tired of. I'll just put these goodies in the loot bag and get them checked. You know, Mr. Roberts, I ain't never seen a real have robber's loot bag before. Do you think you'll show me what's inside? Oh, yeah, well, we ain't so late before, so this will be yours, too. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt to show you a few things. Um, I heard that. You must have a frog here puppy that I puppy too. Because I'm just gonna go into a tie you. Alright, here we go. Here is a coffee pot. <laughs> here is a candle stand. Here's the candle that goes with the candle stand. <laughs> nuts. I don't quite remember snatching these, but I am kinda hungry. Me too. Well, open it. Just kidding, y'all open it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Clay, we have to slow them down. What do you do? Floss his teeth? No, maybe their feet. Floss his teeth. What better than Clay? Catch you. Not so fast. <laughs> Whoa.
comes Aunt Purdy. I'll be on my way. Brush every day. Don't forget to floss. You'll never know when you'll need it. So long. Lana's shoe. Look, it's untied. Hey, what in the world? I'm sorry. I saw the sign. I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Clyde, Cletus, where are you? Oh, hi, Miss. You haven't happened to see a couple of feathers. What about this tall? What about this tall with big black mustache? Not looking for work, have you? No, but I may have seen a couple of fellers that looks like that. They've been sleeping right over there. Sleeping? I thought they was going to go out to find an off-day's work so they could bring me home to bed and I could fry it up in a pan. <laughs> <laughs> On stage work? Then I hate to break the news to you, but those fellows are bona fide robbers. What? Robbers. They done stole my Aunt Purdy's ring and a bunch of other folks stuff, too. Oh, they did, did they? Well, I'll fix them. Clyde, please, get your worthless bag of bones up. Huh? What? Freddy? Is that you, Sister Dear? Of course it is, Clyde. Why are you looking at me all crazy like? <laughs> well, I never noticed what a beautiful smile you had. Open wide and let me have a look at all your teeth. <laughs> you flipped your lids. This sweet little girl done told me you could not stand folk stuff. Is it true? Oh, burn it is. I'm so sorry now. Me too. It's like those fellows were different fellows. All I want to do now is good. We'll give everything back we stole and try to make it for everything good <laughs> and try to make it for everything bad we done. We want to make you, Sister Dear, happy again and do good things for the rest of this here town. I think I want to be a dentist and help everyone around these parts have a beautiful smile. I think I'd like to be an orthodontist. <laughs> I understand an orthodontist, whatever that is, why then it's professional man. I could help. Oh boys, Aunt Pearl's going to be so proud. But first, we got to find the sheriff and you've got to turn yourselves in and make amends for everything you did. Whatever you say, buddy. And to you, miss, I am truly, truly sorry for all the trouble that caused me in here. Here's her ring. Hope someday you'll forgive us. All right, all right. I forgive you. Now don't you get on the shit on me. Why, you stop this letter by little niece. Aunt Purdy, it's me. Clammy Jane? Bobby, <laughs> oh, is that you, Clammy? Why, you look like the sweetest little girl I ever did see. I may look all soft and sweet, but look, Aunt Purdy, I didn't help catch the cooks that stole your ring. I told you I could help just like them fellers in the posse. Why, I've never been so proud in all my born days. In a dress, too. I thought I'd never see the day. Aunt Purdy, I don't need to burst your balloon, but I'm only wearing this till my clothes are washed and dried. At my age, dear, you take your blessings wherever you can find them. Come on, dear, I have some fresh apple pie just waiting for you.